thought it'd be useful to do a couple of recaps of some differentiation questions just to check that we've all got an understanding of what we've done so far. So for this first one, if f of x is ln sec x, then when I differentiate this, I know that ln functions go to 1 over functions, so it's going to be 1 over sec x, and you multiply that by the derivative of sec x, which is sec x tan x. And so this will just differentiate to tan x. It's worth thinking that we now know that the integral of tan x is ln sec x as well. This one here, you know to rewrite this as sine x to the power of 4. So that g dash x is going to be, if I call this thing over here, blah to the power of 4, this is then going to be 4 blah cubed. But you then also need to multiply by the derivative of blah, which in this case is a derivative of sine x, which is cos x. And we can just leave that here. Now this one, I'm hoping you recognise that you need to use the product rule. So you have that u is tan x and that v is sine x. Well, tan differentiates to sec squared x and sine x differentiates to cos x. So product rule means you're going to have that cross shape that you've got there. So h dash x is going to be tan x cos x plus sine x sec squared x. Now this can be simplified because tan x is sine x over cos x and you're multiplying it by cos x so you just get sine x and sine x sec squared x well if you think about what that means you've got sine x multiplied by 1 over cos squared x one of those over cos squared is going to create a tan x and then you're still going to have a sec x as well so it's just worth thinking about doing some of the simplifying where possible now in this one that we've got here, it's also going to be a product rule. So you have that u is 3x squared, which means that u dash is 6x. And we have that v is cot x. And we know that cot x goes 2 minus cosec squared x. It's like tan going to sec squared, but it goes to minus cosec squared x. So the derivative of mx is going to just be that cross shape again. So we're going to have 6x cot x minus 3x squared cosec squared x. And you could simplify that by taking out a factor of 3x if you wanted to, to leave you with 2 cot x minus x cosec squared x. But it's not necessary to do that. And then for our last one here, it's just going to be a chain rule. We're going to have n dash x, where you've got e to the blah. We know that e to the blah is going to differentiate to e to the blah. But you then need to multiply by the derivative of blah. And the derivative of cosec 2x, well, we know it's going to go to a minus cosec 2x uh, cot 2x. But you also need to multiply by the derivative of the 2x, which is 2. So you end up with minus 2 cosec 2x cot 2x. In fact, I usually put e outside the front. So I'm going to do that and write it like this. Minus 2 e cosec 2x cosec 2x cot 2x. Okay, I have got one final set of recap questions that are at the end of this as well, which we're going to have a look at here. So we're going to try these ones too. This is the second set of them. Okay, so we've got another ln, which means it's going to go to something over sine x. And we know that sine x differentiates to cos x, so you have cos x over sine x, which is cot x. So we now know that the integral of cot x would be ln sine x. Okay, we're going to do g dash x. So we've got sec of x cubed, so that's sec of blah. Well, we know that sec of blah will go to sec of blah tan of blah. You also need to multiply it by the derivative of blah, which is going to be 3x squared. So it's 3x squared sec x cubed tan x cubed. This one is going to be an application of the product rule. Nice, easy one, actually. So u is 2x, meaning u dash is 2. v is e to the x, so v dash is e to the x. And you're going to have that cross shape for the product rule there. So h dash x is going to be 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x. And you might like to factorise that. So you have e to the x, 2x plus 2. Or equally, you could have done 2e to the x, x plus 1. Any of those answers are pretty good. 
I have another product rule here. So I have that u is x squared plus 1, u dash is 2x, v is cot x, and we know that cot x is going to go to minus cos x squared x. Again, it's a product rule, so you're just going to be putting these all together. So m dash x is going to be minus x squared plus 1 cos x squared x plus 2x cot x. I'd probably switch those two around so I don't start with a negative, but I'm not super bothered by that here. We've also got another product rule here. So I have e to the 2x, don't worry about the brackets, and I have ln x. u dash is going to go to 2e to the 2x, and v dash is going to go to 1 over x. So we've got the product rule coming up. So n dash x is going to be 1 over x times e to the 2x, which is e to the 2x over x, plus 2e to the 2x ln x. And if you wanted to, you could factorise out that e to the 2x, and you've got 1 plus x plus 2 ln x. So there's a bit of a summary of all of the different things that we've done so far. Hopefully you've started committing to memory what tan, sec, cosec, and cot all differentiate to as well.